what is up everyone this is kiran here welcome back to tech kiran youtube channel legend os the preview i already shared yesterday this one is v3.4 which is available for the redmi note 8 users it is already available for the mutual users redmi note 9 pro redmi note 9s redmi note 10 pro max and poco m2 pro and i already made a video on that if you are using that device make sure to check out that one and this one is redmi note 8 the features and sectra is almost same to the previous video so i am not going to share with you some features or whatever i am just going to share with you little bit of differences with that rom and this rom and also alongside with the installation and the geekbench score etc and also little bit stats about battery backup all the things in this video i will try to share with you so stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end let's get started Guys, the about him for UI is looking like same. This one is Redmi Note 8 Gingo in my hand, and actually the UI is a little bit of different here. As you can see, the camera information is wrong. So the, this is also, of course, not a big issue, but the thing seems to be really good. Almost same kind of things about phone has. This one is Legion OS, but the difference which I got till now, first of all, the major difference is this is the unofficial build, and the mutual build was the official build. Also, the another change which I got to know is this room comes without Google Apps, which is it has only vanilla build. But if you're using that build, it it has both of the builds available. If you're interested in the vanilla build, you can install that one. If you're interested in the Google Apps build, like me, most of the times I personally use the Google Apps build, so that build is also available. But in this build, it's not available. The thing is, this is Redmi Note 8. That those were some other devices, so there are a little bit of differences in performance. also this this room performance is good it's quite good the battery backup it, it doesn't seem to be really good honestly 10.14% per hour active drain which is a little bit of more than which was expected and idle drain is also a little bit of more which was expected 0.62% 4 hours and 55 minute or 4 hours and 56 minute of screen on time from the 75% approximately 50% plus battery drainage already and we have still only 23% battery left The screen on time is just normal. It's not that much great. Legion OS, we already know that it has almost same kind of theming like the MSM Extended. So it has these gradient signs, and you can customize these in settings if you want to. The features and etc are almost same. I have the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, etc. Seems to be working. I didn't got any major issues. It might have the Wi-Fi display bug. I am not sure, but maybe. But other things are seems to be quite working. I didn't got any major issues after using it some time. The best thing is if you are looking for some wallpapers we have a lot of wallpapers pre installed by going to legion wallpapers options we have many wallpapers options available of course these are working on internet so you need proper internet connection for this but legion os wallpapers are quite good there are many wallpapers and you can adjust any one of them for example i have applied this wallpaper which is looking quite good and we have many other wallpapers options available so if you are looking for wallpapers then you might not need to install any kind of third party app for these wallpapers other things seems to to be great here as this is a vanilla build so this calendar and this camera and we have this contacts option this messaging app this phone app all the aosp apps are available which are of course different from the pixel one i love to use the pixel ones but this has this so of course this is also not a big issue Let's take a look at the Magisk and Geekbench score quickly. We have the Geekbench score. In my case, the Geekbench score. Of course, the scores doesn't matter a lot, but I think I should show you this. Geekbench score which I got till now is three one zero is a single core one one two eight two is the multi core score three one zero is a single core and three zero seven is the average one so this is quite good but the multi core is not that much good it's almost same with the average one one two seven seven and one two eight two I was expecting it should be one three zero zero because if the battery backup is not good uh, the performance is quite good so there might be the things but it's not like that. Going for the Play Store, let me show you how about my device certification. If my device is certified or not, unfortunate device is not certified, but it's by default because I've installed the modded Magisk here and I have not enabled the Magisk Hide option in settings. I've not installed the Magisk Hide props config. As you can see, we have the modded Magisk installed here. You can install the Magisk V21 on your Redmi Note 8 device. You already got to know that if you install the Magisk V21. you might face that your device will be booted into fast boot 
but with a simple thing i have a video specifically on that one that how you can install magic suite 21 on this device you can go and check it out and that will be helpful for you now moving on to settings i'm not going to talk about any kind of features same just watch my previous video of legion os 3.4 for the Redmi Note 9s, Redmi Note 9 Pro, Redmi Note 9 Pro Max and Poco M2 Pro has the same kind of features and same kind of UI like this one. If you want to take a look at all these features, go and check it out. Other things, battery backup, Geekbench score, etc. I have already shown you. Let's take a look at the installation. Let me show you a little bit of more things. First of all, fingerprint etc. is available. No face lock and that's all and we don't have any xiaomi parts option available so xiaomi parts is not included but this is the first build you might wait for the other cool kind of things very soon now let's take a look at the installation you just need file because this has only one variant vanilla build it it, it does not include the google apps build so you need to install google apps on your own for google apps you can prefer the bit g apps or next g apps in my case i have both of the things are available let me show you which things i'm talking about I have Legion OS v3.4 Kingo vanilla version available and if you are looking for Google Apps, Bit, Apps, ARM64, I'm using this Google Apps, you can use any other also. Just boot into custom recovery and in your case we have the restart and power off options available. We can simply boot into custom recovery directly from here. We have the advanced reboot options available so this seems to be really good. Just boot into custom recovery and of course I'm using Orange Fox custom recovery. I'll prefer Orange Fox custom recovery for you also. If you're using any other custom recovery it's up to you but orange box is always recommended so just boot into custom recovery and this is the thing which i got after the miui china beta based on android version 11 the thing i just wanted to let you know by just going into custom recovery that you will see encryption here i'll suggest you not to install android version 11 based miui 12 right now on your redmi note 8 device because it has some issues you will see some encryption issues and you will not be able to even not be able to format your data from custom recovery this is just a suggestion and if you're looking for the installation i already shown you you just need to go here dalvi cache system vendor data all these things you need to click on swipe to wipe other things what you need to do is just boot into your recovery or boot into your location where you have that file for example in my case i have in rooms and files and here select this legion os v3.4 gingo unofficial swipe to install second thing what you need to do is big g apps click on swipe to install and you just need to reboot your device done and the thing which i was discussing uh, let me tell you which thing i was discussing this is the thing my storage is now encrypted i need to use fast boot if you need video that how you can overcome this situation just comment below i'll try to make video very very soon this is all from today's video thanks for watching and goodbye